we bring in Anthony Castorvince, who does a great job covering all of the teams on MLB.com. He's also an MLB Network insider. Anthony, thanks for being with us. So I'll ask you first, my friend, about the Rays. Is this who they really are? Did we make too much of their strong start? Or is this just kind of the way the season flows and they will pick it up again? Well, it is the way the season flows. And you know, I, I don't expect the, the Rays to fade into that good night. I don't think they're, they're dropping down to last place. But obviously, it goes without saying, it's difficult to maintain the pace they set for themselves. And you look up today, and it's a three-and-a-half game lead. I mean, the, the Twins have a three-and-a-half game lead on the Guardians. It's not a gargantuan lead. They did bank those wins. Those wins count. Those wins matter. But what concerns me about the Rays is, and it's it's been a pretty persistent problem organizationally, is just keeping – they're pitching healthy and you know they've lost Rasmussen they've lost Spriggs those were two of their top three arms in their opening rotation they will get Tyler Glass now back uh, soon they're expected to um, but you know keeping those guys on the mound has been a struggle for them it's it's an organization that's certainly prioritized stuff and uh, you know they have dazzling stuff but sometimes mechanically uh, it doesn't last very long. So that, that's my biggest concern there because it puts more pressure on a bullpen that, frankly, has not been very good of late. I think when you look at some of the advanced stats of what their bullpen has allowed, you, know, you could kind of see some regression coming, and it's coming this month of May. So um, it's a tough division, man. It's, it's, it's going to be an absolute battle, and that battle is not over. No matter how many wins the Rays banked early on, it's, it's still setting up to be perhaps a, a really close race. And Anthony, that being said, you're not concerned about the Rays lineup. The bats have been there all season long. They will continue to do so. One of the milestones you're talking about is with the Rays and the Sultans of SWAT. Tell us more. <laughs> yeah, and so the offense has been fantastic, and, and this will be a tough pace to keep up. But when you're on pace to set the major league record for home runs, one season after finishing 25th in MLB in home runs. And really, you know, the, the lineup is virtually the same as last year. So it's kind of a just a shocking turnaround for this group. So they got their work cut out for them to keep up the space. But it has been magnificent to watch. A lot of they're, they're probably going to surpass their 2022 home run total in the middle of June. I mean, they're, they're on that pace. They're, they're not far off from their 1998 home run total already. They only have to hit like 10 or 15 more uh, to surpass that mark. So crazy to see the Rays, uh, you know, in this home run derby. You look at their their numbers, and it's just silly. I mean, it's every member of their lineup has been above Lee Vagridge, uh, as have a couple members of their bench. So top to bottom, they're just getting great at bats. And, um, you know, you don't put it past Randy or Rosarina, I think, has figured some things out from a preparation standpoint. Wander Franco is, is coming in his own at the big league level. Yandy Diaz is elevating it more. So they got some really good things going offensively. Yeah, I don't know at what point people are going to stop questioning the Tampa Bay Rays. They do this every single year. They're always in the conversation. Okay, another guy that we should be paying attention to, according to you, Anthony, is Ronald Acuna Jr. What a difference a healthy Ronald Acuna <laughs> Jr. makes. It's a beautiful thing to watch. You know, you worried that uh, when he injured the knee to the degree he did, would he still be as dynamic a player uh, on the base pass? But uh, lo and behold, he is on pace, Alana, to be the first player ever. We talk about 40-40 all the time. How about 30-60? He's on place, pace for 30 home runs and 60 steals. That has never happened before. So that would be really fun to see from Acuna. And it's rare to see that combination of, of speed and power. And we're not talking about warning track power here. This guy's last nine home runs have gone 420 feet or more. And he's, you know, he, those, those mammoth blasts have been a standard in his career. And you add that with a, the dynamic nature of you know, how he runs the bases. It's just such a unique talent and probably the early NL MVP favorite. So um, and, and he's getting that from a six foot body. You know, this is not a John Carlos Stanton type. He's getting those big blasts from that, you know, relatively smaller frame. So he's such an exciting player to watch. It's great to see him healthy yeah. and, and really lead the Braves. Yeah, two healthy legs makes a big difference. He's a big reason that the Atlanta Braves are in first place. I love the title, Homers and Heists. He's a bad man stealing those backs. Okay, finally, before I let you go, Anthony, let's talk about Luis Arise. This guy is tremendous. He was tremendous before he got traded. He's been tremendous after. What are we looking for? Yeah, so he actually debuted four years ago yesterday, did Arise, and he's hitting 320 in his career. The league is hitting 246. So this guy's been far and beyond. Uh, you know, the next closest player to him with uh, with at least 1,000 plate appearances in that span is Tim Anderson at 313. So he's been just far and away the most consistent hitter in MLB. And, 
you know, will he maintain uh, his current batting average, you know, 378? I don't know. If he did, that would be the highest since Ichiro Suzuki back in 2004. But, um, you know, there's a guy who has been consistent even prior to, you know, the elimination of the extreme defensive shifts. And so now he's in an environment where even more balls in play can go for hits. And he just finds holes. It was funny watching his old teammates a, a couple weeks ago. I was in the <laughs> Twins clubhouse, and his old teammates were watching him uh, record his 45th base hit of the season already, and that was a couple weeks ago. And, you know, one of them said, uh, you know, he just – he finds the holes. And someone else said, no, the holes find him. So um, he's, he's just so – he's just such a uh, – you know, we, don't, we don't see a lot of that high contact – profile maybe we will going forward with the new rules and, and more teams will you know prize that and develop that but you know he's kind of uh in his own category right now